Well, good morning. Uh, this next part of the 3585A uh, analyzer uh, work, or the dumpster score for this uh, part. If you remember the previous episode, we discovered that the 18 volt, 12 volt supply uh, had a dead green LED. So we can, you know, I have a, a green LED. It's not the same size, it's a little bigger, but we'll drop that in there and make sure that we can see that the power supply is working correctly. Um, the other uh, item, let me just move that out of the road. The other item was our 7.7 .7 volt power supply. And uh, you can see here that uh, it definitely blew the fuse. And uh, I was wondering, you know, like, why would it blow the fuse and cause general havoc? And so I was looking at the, uh, the schematic, and you can see that we have a decoupling slash bypass uh, capacitor C1 here that comes into the, the input to U1, which is the voltage regulator. I think it's like a 60 volt uh, voltage regulator or something like that. Um, so I thought, oh, well, I wonder if there's a problem there. And so when I tested this, when I looked at this uh, cap, uh, I discovered that it certainly uh, wasn't good, wasn't healthy. So let's take a look at that. And we can see here that, you know, we have hopefully, let me turn the backlight on. All right. So if we take a look, we can see that it's basically a dead short and it's not charging up. So what should happen is you should get a, you know, if it's the right way around, you should get a, you know, charge curve as it charges up and eventually goes open circuit. So here we can see again that it's basically a dead short in both directions. So there's something wrong with the, uh, that cap there. So what I've got is I've got a more modern, uh, which is a Rubicon, I think. Now let me take a quick look. No, it's a Kemet. Um, and, uh, that is a 47 microfarad, 100 volt cap. That's going to replace this, uh, blue guy here. So I, I want to go and make these changes, uh, quickly because unexpectedly what arrived in the post today was the memory board. And, uh, this is the, the, the board that was missing. Now, it wasn't supposed to arrive until, uh, you know, the weekend, but it's here now, so let's get these boards working. Let's get the power supply back in and make sure that we're at spec before we add the, the memory board. All right, I'm going to go do that off camera, and then we'll come back and uh, uh, see how we're going. All right, well, here we go. We're back. We have the uh, new LED in place wildly out of size and we have the new cap uh, in there wildly undersized new uh, fuse so let's go stick these back in and we'll see what happens okay so the orange one goes here this is the 18 volt supply okay how Okay, so it's in, and let's, this is the 7.7 .7 supply, so let's drop it in. Okay, now let's cross our fingers and turn the, let's turn that light off so that we can see the, the lights a little better. Let's turn it on. Oh, we have one, two, three, four, five, green LEDs. Okay. That is awesome to, to see. Let's just let that run for a moment. While I get my um, the little printed piece of paper I had that had the voltage specs on it. So now we have, I have my meter recording. We can turn this on again. All right, so the first one, let me get my pen. So the first one we're gonna look at is A74 here, and it is 18 volts DC plus or minus uh, 0.9 of a volt. So let's go take a look. 
and that is minus 18.121. So that one is good. So we'll tick that. Now the next one across, uh, A37, A73B, and it should be 18 volts positive, plus or minus 0.9 of a volt. So let's take a, a look at that. And it is also 18.138, so 18.14. So we're good there. Let's come in and we'll, we'll tick that on it a little bit. There are a couple of uh, studs on the back of this. So now the next one across is 12 volts, and that's A73A, and it should be 12 volts plus or minus 0.6 of a volt. So let's go take a look at that. And that is 12.18 volts. So that is also good. Let's just take that in there and we'll just tick that guy as well. All right, now the next one here is A72, which should be 5.3 volts plus or minus 0.2 of a volt. Oops, sorry, wrong one. And we're 5.376. So that is also good. So we'll tick that guy. And the last one is our newly repaired 7.7 .7 rail. So let's take a look at that. That should be 7.7 .7 volts plus or minus 0.6 of a volt. And that is 7.8 volts. So plus or minus 0.6. So that could be 7.1 to 7. Uh, to, to 8.3, I guess, yeah. So that's also good. Okay. So let's tick that. And based on that, it looks like we've got the power supplies back working. Okay, so let's turn this off. And now what I want to do is I want to go in and um, uh, I want to get uh, to go put that memory card in. So to do that, what I need to do is take uh, this bar off. So let me put my little clipboard away. And so I don't know if you can see, I want to take this bar off and then the board goes in this slot here. So let's take this off. And we'll put this over here and take this off. We'll put this over here, and then this whole thing should come out. And it's an interesting design because it has three holders for some cards that are just over here uh, on it. So we have that. So now let's take our board. Let me bring that out and out of the road. And now if we drop our board in, it should go in. Let me make sure that I've got, do I have it in both slots? There we go, that took a lot more force than I was expecting, but that's now in. So let's move some of this stuff out of the road here. We will go in and hook up this. Now that sat there like, that's it there like that. So that should go on. Okay. So now I'm going to leave this off for the moment. Let's just get some stuff out of the road here. Okay. Put this over here. All right. So let's turn this around and see if we can see what's going to happen on the front. So, okay, so now there are a number of LEDs which are over here, um, which should show up, but I'm not sure, no, you can't quite see, I don't have, let's see if I can get that around a bit more, finger, nope, they're just off screen there, finger, ah, uh, yep. 
So I don't want to leave that because that's hanging off the thing. So let's now, you should be able to see the front screen there. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Let's turn this on. Okay, so we have, if you come across here, you should be able to see there is one LED here blinking. But on the front, we've got sweeping. The LEDs have come back. Still got nothing on the screen here. But it is responding. Okay, so I think the unit might be running and now we have a problem with the CRT. Let me turn this off and we'll go take, I'm gonna take a quick look and see if I can find what that um, FRN, was it the FRN let? Yeah, see if I can find what the, the blinking FRN LED is. Be right back. Okay. Let's turn that on. So let's come over here. You should be able to see the, the FRN blinking right here. Uh, I don't know what FRN means, but uh, that should, it should be blinking, I think, according to some of the documentation. But the sum is also supposed to be blinking as well, but that might be specific setups. Um, these pins do look banged around a bit, so I don't know what's going on there. Anyway. Hi, right, Future Tony here. This is going to be a horrible audio because I already took the batteries out of my radio mic and that. Anyway, um, we saw in the previous case that the FRN was blinking, but the sum wasn't. And in the documentation, it did mention both them blinking. But I think the sum blinks, you know, and I haven't done any further research on this, but I think the sum blinks when the unit is in a particular... Um, state so let's turn the unit on okay and you can see that the frn started to blink and that's the fractional n uh, voltage tune oscillator i guess and it's blinking because it's uh running through the uh the sweeps now if i hit instrument preset and then resolution bandwidth and then set three kilohertz now we can see that the sum is also blinking so that implies that we're probably in a reasonably good state. Now we just have to deal with the CRT. Anyway, I'll return you back to the rest of the video. As you can see, if we hit single, the FRN uh, LED stops blinking. So I'm not getting anything on the uh, CRT, but we are one step closer to a working device. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting and uh, I'll see you again when we do the next one. All right, catch you later. Bye.